Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Amidia just open source several new models for the Nemantra 3 model that's completely open source from the pre-trained data to training to post-training and uh, the benchmark is also looks awesome. There are multiple technologies, it uh, looks really wonderful. And uh, this is some of the benchmarking for the Nemantra 3 Nano. Nemotron 3 Nano is a 31.6 billion parameter model. It's a mixture of exports, so which means that uh, each time only 3.2 billion is active, make it very efficient in the inference. And uh, in terms of the accuracy, we can see that the green one is the Nemotron 3 Nano compared with uh, the Quen 3 and with OpenAI's GPT OSS 20B model, and we can see that the Nemotron 3 Nano outperforms almost in every category. So I think that's amazing. And one of the best thing about it is that very, very super long context length for 1 million. Wow, that's a lot of context which means that you can feed it with a very, very long prompt. And the best thing of it is that it is able to run it on Macbook. So today we will be see how to run it on Macbook and see what the performance looks like. So we will be use the LM Studio to do it. Make sure that you update LM Studio to latest version, which has the support for the Nemantra 3 Nano model. And then after you uh, install and update it. So, so once you click the discovery, then you can see that on the left side there is a list of the models. And we, we do see that the Nemontra 3 Nano is ranked uh, the fourth. If not, you can do a search on it. So Nemontra. Okay, so you can see that. And then you can just uh, click the download button. It will start to download it. And uh, pay attention that you will need uh, at least uh, 30 gigabytes of disk space to store the model because it has about 24.5 gigabytes. So quite uh, big, even for the Q4 quantized model. You may choose the other option if you feel like your MacBook cannot handle it. So for example, if you have like a bigger RAM, you can try even like uh, the higher models, for example, the Q6, Q8, or F16. So for me, I will have already downloaded the Q4 model, so we will be use that. Okay, so let's go back to the chat interface and then we can um, start to load the model. Um, so first, on the top side, you want to select the model to load. We will, I will select this one, the NVIDIA Nemotron 3 Nano. Click on that, so it will start to load the model. And on the right side, I'm opening the, the RAM and also the GPU, so you can see what's been going on. After the loading the model, we can start to experiment with it. What model are you? Press the send button. Well, we see that uh, it's completed uh, the generating and uh, it has been very, very smooth. And we see our 
uh, GPU monitoring shows that around 75% utilization almost uh, entire time. And uh, we see the, the RAM is also because it's a 24 gigabytes model. So it uses quite a lot of RAM too. How about the performance? Performance looking at it is 19.06 tokens per second generated uh, 1,243 tokens. First uh, time to first token is 3.13 seconds. Okay, looks uh, quite nice. So let's try another one. Okay. Yeah, this is a CPU. Yeah, we do see that the CPU is also um, working very hard, also at about 73, 78%. GPU is also at 70%. So I think that's because of the model, the architecture, the mixture of exports. And on the bottom side, we see that uh, how much RAM is actually using. Let's use, use 21.9 gigabytes of the RAM. The CPU is 528%. Wow, that's a lot of CPU too. Yeah, I think it use both CPU and GPU. So as you can see here, for the context, it uses 31%. So the speed is at 18.84 uh, tokens per second, similar to what we got the first time. It generated uh, almost uh, 3,000 tokens. First uh, 10 to first token is 12.3 seconds. Okay, yeah, looks good. Yes, overall, I think it's very uh, easy to get started running it using the LM Studio. If you have uh, a bigger enough RAM, I rec highly recommend you can give it a try and see what uh, your speed look like. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.